Hello, what is going on guys? I'm the C-H-A-L-L -L, and welcome back to another video. Now today, we're going to be talking about Birmingham City and the fact that they've just announced over the last couple of hours that their manager, Pep Clotet, or Clotet has decided to resign at the end of the season. So we're going to be talking about the whole story, his official statement, we're going to be sharing with you the official uh, manager odds as recently as now. Uh, to share with you the contenders and what I think to each contender for the job and also share my thoughts as to what Birmingham City need to do. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell for more blood pumping, heart stopping, thrill riding theme park content, dunk shooting, basketball content and goal scoring football content. Make sure you also share the video with your friends, your family, Birmingham City fans and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So let's start with an official statement from BBC Sport article about the news from the St Andrews Stadium. So BBC Sport states that Pep Clotet will leave his position at Birmingham City head coach at the end of the season. The Spaniard, 43 three years old has been allowed to leave the championship club to, in quotations, explore other coaching opportunities. Clotet has been assisting previous boss Gary Munt before succeeding him as head coach initially on an interim basis in June 2019. Now when the season expects to resume on the 20th of June, the Blues currently sit 16th in the championship and Clotet has officially said it's been a really difficult decision to take because it's been a privilege to be a part of the Blues family but it's the best step for everyone and it allows the club to continue to move forward with their vision and strategy. Chief Executive Dong Ren says Pep will depart with our very best wishes. In the meantime, Pep continues to have our full backing and we are determined to do everything we can to finish the season strongly and give him the fitting send-off he deserves. The Blues are eight points clear of relegation zone with nine matches still to play and Clotek's exit later this summer will leave Birmingham looking for their sixth manager in just three and a half years. Since Gary Rowett was sacked back in December, December 2016, Gianfranco Zola for four months, Harry Redknapp for five months, Steve Cottrell for five months, Monk for 15 months and Clotet for a full year had all had spells in charge of the Blues. Now, w Richard Wilford, BBC's WM's Birmingham City reporter, analysed saying Clotet had never expected to find himself as the head coach at St Andrews and early anticipated being a temporary fix when Monk departed. Not entirely comfortable with the spotlight, Clotet sought to engineer the change in style desired by the owners without necessarily having the full set of resources required. At times, this led to compromise in order to put points on the board. He showed commitment to younger players, most notably creating the perfect platform for the gift of Jude Bellingham to learn and thrive at the time that football was interrupted by the pandemic Blues were close to their target of better football. The acquisition of a second striker in Scott Hogan to support the ever-willing Lukas Djokovic gave the team considerable more balance. But the virus may also have made up Pep's mind to move on. He returned to Spain to spend time with his young family during the crisis and it would be no surprise if he chose to continue his coaching career near home. So before we get into the managerial odds, that was the official BBC Sport article and analysis from the Birmingham City reporter uh, about the exit of Pep Clotet. Now, Birmingham City, like we said in that article, um, they are eight points over, you know, away from that relegation zone with nine games still to play. So Birmingham City aren't out of the woods just yet, and they want to, you know, guide the players to finish the season on a high. And I think that that's the goal for Birmingham City: survive relegation and then start again with a new manager. And you know, I think that's been Birmingham City's problem over the last few years, ever since sacking Gary Rowett. That's been the main problem for me, the fact that they've had so many managers over, you know, the last three and a half years. It just it just doesn't feel like a proper club. It like, you know, I when I was a kid and I watched Birmingham City under Alex McLeish in the Premier League and, you know, they just slept walked into the trap door and won the Carling Cup against Arsenal in the same year. You know, I thought, you know what, I'll see Birmingham City. Uh, personally, as a Doncaster Rovers fan, I still didn't, you know, forgive them for sending us down on the final day of the championship, but we'll move on from that. Uh, <laughs> but Birmingham City, 
you know, I, I, I do want to see them back in the Premier League. I think they are a good Premier League side. And, you know, the, you don't forget they won the Carling Cup. So they were a European side in the Championship. So even though they didn't reach the big stage, you know, they still got a taste of it, you know, while they were Carling Cup winners. So, you know, Birmingham City have had a taste of success in the past. It's just about finding that success again. And it's not like, you know, they haven't attracted big names. You know, you go look at the past managers, uh, Zola... Redknapp, Cottrell, um, Monk, and of course bringing in Pep Clotet for interim basis and then, you know, turning it into a permanent job. You know, it was just, it just, it just didn't, f the, the names were big, but it just didn't suit the style of play that Birmingham were playing. So I think that in terms of bringing in a new manager, they've got to find someone who's got experience, but it's someone that's going to take them forward. You look at uh, Nuno Espirito Santo at Wolves that were in the championship before they moved on to the Premier League and started getting, you know, back to back Europa League finishes. You gotta you gotta look at Wolves as a prime example. Nuno Espirito Santo walked into the championship do job and he was a kind of manager that could bring that team into the forefront of the Premier League. Birmingham need a manager like a Nuno. They need someone like Chris Wilder at Sheffield United. Someone who either has the experience and can bring them forward to aspirations which they never thought they'd achieve. Or they need someone who's a dedicated, you know, either fan or a former player that's got the managerial traits needed and knows the club well enough to take them forward and I know you know if Birmingham City fans are watching comment down below your predictions as to who you think is going to be the next manager speaking of the next manager let's have a look at an article from Birmingham Mail on the latest odds for the next Birmingham City boss so the current next manager odds courtesy of odds checker in full are Craig Gardner 5-2 Chris Hewton 5-1 Jukanovic 6-1 Nigel Atkins 7-1 Mark Robbins 8-1 Tony Pulis 9 to 1, Lee Bowyer 10 to 1, and then at 12 to 1, you've got Itor Karanka, the former Middlesbrough boss, and also the former Cardiff boss, Neil Warnock. And then way down at 14 to 1, you've got Stephen Robinson and Alan Pardew. So that is the full list of bookmakers' odds there uh, for potential managers. Now, obviously, there's a few names to pick out in particular. Itor Karanka, a former Middlesbrough manager, could he be the uh, dark horse solution. Craig Gardner, obviously a former player, you know, he's the type of manager that you could have as that player experience to bring to the managerial side. You know, he knows the squad. Craig Gardner knows the squad. So he could, you know, bring in that knowledge. Same with Lee Bowyer. Same with a former manager in Chris Hewton who used to manage the Blues. Neil Warnock, he's a good, experienced manager. And that's what I was talking about earlier with the two routes that the club need to go down to achieve further success. You go down the former player or fan who has the experience and the knowledge of the club needed already to take the club to new heights, or you have a manager that's got loads of experience and has the you know, the traits of experience needed to take the club to the aspirations. So you need someone with a lot of experience or you need a former player or fan of the club that has some experience but also has a depth of player knowledge. Now, you could go either one of those two ways and I think either one of those two ways would work. And if you're looking at it from a manager's standpoint, you either go the Neil Warnock or Alan Pardew route or you would go down the player slash fan route. You could go down the likes of Lee Bowyer, Craig Gardner, um, and different players and people like that. Mark Robbins from Coventry is an interesting one because I don't. Th Mark Robbins may be you know quite higher than other managers that are out of jobs in the bookmakers, but I personally don't think Mark Robbins will do that. I think he will stay with Coventry City, and I think that uh, Coventry City will you know I think they'll keep him. I think that Mark Robbins will stay with Coventry. If Robbins leaves Coventry, you can bet your life Coventry will get relegated straight back down. If they keep Robbins at the Coventry job, I think that Coventry could. Uh, rise and rise and rise as a football club and who knows maybe we could see Coventry City in the Premier League again um, a manager like Chris Hewton that would be a good experienced route and it's not just experience because he's got the managerial experience but also he's a former coach of the Blues a good Europa League campaign and a championship playoff finish so 
you know, you look at Chris Shooting and you think that season, that was a good season. If he brings us that again, if he brings in the right talent as well, then he could be the perfect solution. So I think Chris Shooting is a good option. So there we go. So that's looking at the book markers. That's looking at Pep Clotet's statement after leaving the club. Uh, so don't forget, the season starts in the championship on the 20th of June. I'll be going on, I'll be watching some Premier League and Championship and the EFL games as well. Uh, so hopefully get back to some doing some match reviews and do some match reviews for the channel. Uh, so that includes Premier League, EFL, you know, those type of matches. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some match reviews on there. So hopefully, Birmingham's first game since the announcement of the managers leaving at the end of the season uh, will be an interesting one, especially Birmingham's last home game. I think that'll be an interesting one for, uh, uh, for the fans at the comfort of their own homes to say goodbye to Pep Clotet. So very interesting update there from Birmingham City. Again, comment down below who you think is going to be the next Birmingham City manager. And for now, guys, my name is the C-H-A-L-L. -L. Please like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.